Hi everybody, welcome back to Small Caliber Arms Review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the very first rifle produced under the Winchester name. Now this is based on the 1860 Henry and a fellow by the name of Nelson King who worked for Winchester come up with a few uh, improved patents for the 1860 Henry and they created the model 1866. Uh, commonly known as the Yellow Boy because of the brass receiver on there. Good looking gun anyways. This was produced in I think three different barrel lengths on there. A musket version, a sporter version, um, a carbine version. This is the uh, model sporting rifle, model 66 sporting rifle. And this one is made by Uberti. Now Winchester only produced these from 1866 until 1899 and during that time there were somewhere around 170,000 of them produced. They did re-release the Model 66 I think for their 150th anniversary they were uh, a limited run of them and they're still out there but uh, they're going to be pretty pricey. So if you're going to want to get one of these you're probably going to have to look to companies like Uberti. This one is imported by Stoger but it is manufactured by Uberti. A very good looking rifle, really nice walnut stock and fore end on it. Uh, really nice looking color case hardened lever and hammer on there. A blued trigger on it, blued loading gate on the side there. And Nelson King is the one that come up with the, uh, the improvements on this for the side loading gate and the wood fore end on there and the sealed magazine tube where the 1860 Henry had a long split down the middle of it and that follower kind of followed your rounds down in there and allowed dirt to get in there. Uh, there were also some cases where you could have slam fired, I guess, or accidentally discharged rounds in the magazine tube because of that follower being in there. Uh, the top of it twisted to the side, you dropped your rounds down in there and then you would close that and the follower would come down behind it Sometimes that follower would slip out of your hand, slam into the rounds there, and cause the rounds to go off. So there was a little improvement with the side loading gate on there. You could push the rounds in there without having to get your hand up there by the muzzle, without accidentally re releasing that uh, follower on there. Uh, this one is, like I said, the Sporter model. It is a 24-inch octagon barrel on here. Really nice bluing job on it and the magazine tube. Like I said, really nice wood on there, nice brass butt plate on it. Pretty pronounced curve on there. May be uncomfortable in your shoulder a little bit. There is a little latch down here at the bottom that you can lock that, uh, that lever so that you don't accidentally pop it open and maybe eject around or something. But you just turn that to the side and then you're ready to go to um, chamber around in there and fire it. All right, now this particular Winchester I've actually had for several years, I think, uh, well, maybe two or three years. I bought it uh, right at the start of the pandemic and uh, I have not shot this thing yet. Now I do have a partial box of some Winchester Super X 45 Colt 250 grain. These are cowboy action lead round nose or lead flat nose. So we're gonna get these things out on the range and give it a few shots. And like I said, I have not fired this thing yet and I've been really aching to get out there and shoot it. So it looks like today is gonna to be the day. So let's get this thing out to the range, out there to the saloon and we'll take a couple shots at the uh, seven yard for accuracy and the 15 yard to see how it does too. Okay, so we're out here at the saloon now and I got my box of Winchesters here and we're gonna go ahead and just put, uh, let's just go ahead and put five rounds in there right now. Now to load this thing, all you gotta do is take your round out of the case and push it right in the side gate there and push it in just a little bit. Don't push it all the way in. Take your next round and push that one right in behind it. And it makes it a little easier than trying to get your fingers down inside there and push it all the way in. And when you go to put that last one in, you can take another round, push it in, get it past there and then let the loading gate pop up there, closing it in there. Now we've got five rounds loaded in the magazine tube. We're gonna go ahead and take some uh, shots up there at the silhouette target. Okay, I've got the eyes and ears on because you gotta protect both of those. You only get uh, one set and that's it. So I've got my five rounds in my magazine tube. I got a silhouette target set up there at seven yards. We're just gonna go ahead and do some uh, center mass ones on there to see how it is. Now to get one into the chamber and ready to fire, all I gotta do is make sure my little latch here is undone and I can go ahead and rack one. The elevator lifts it up and pushes it into the uh, 
the chamber when you close it and it's ready to fire. The hammer is cocked and it's ready to go. All right, there's my five rounds there. The shells eject straight up when they come out. And these are ones that you are going to want to reload. 45 Colt is not the cheapest round out there. Now, there is a safety position on here, too. Right now, I got no live rounds in there. But what you can do is you can pull the hammer back one click, and then it's not going to fire. That is a safety position on there, as well as having the little latch down here for the lever so nothing can be activated. If you want to take it off safe, you got to pull it all the way back. You're ready to fire or pull your trigger and let your hammer go back slowly. Now that is the way I like to see them right there. Just completely demolish the X right in the center there. Easy rifle to shoot. It's got a little bit of weight to it though, so you might move around just a little bit, but uh, just offhand shooting, that's not bad. I didn't need to put it in the sled or anything to uh, check it out for accuracy. Let's go ahead and load 10 rounds up in there and do some semi-rapid firing on this thing. Uh, maybe we'll do 10 headshots on it. I won't try for the smiley face this time. Actually, this time, instead of taking uh, 10 headshots at a paper target, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take 10 shots at the uh, steel target up there because paper's just not that exciting. And number 11 here is just to push that all the way in there. All right, I got 10 rounds loaded up in there. Let's take some shots at the steel target. And that's 10 shots on this thing. Shoots pretty darn good, I think, anyways. And you can catch a lot of brass on top of your hat if you're... Uh, if you're paying attention to it anyways. All right, guys, there it is. This is the 1866 Winchester or Winchester Model 66 uh, Yellow Boy. And it's a pretty darn good rifle, I think, anyways. This one made by Uberti and imported by Stoger. Made just like the originals. And this is a toggle link action inside of here. And maybe I'll do a video on taking this thing apart and cleaning it because this one is a little tricky. You have to have three hands or something like that anyways to, to do it. I have had it apart a couple times. Did my initial cleaning on it and everything, make sure there was no um, machining, chatter, chips, anything left inside there. Cleaned it all up, lubed it all up, and it seems to operate fairly smooth. I think it's probably just a little bit smoother than my Rossi 92. Um, and these things can also be made to run very, very fast, uh, smoothing out a lot of stuff in there. Of course, in this one, there's not a lot of stuff to smooth out. Most of it's going to be where your uh, firing pin extension comes back here and actually pushes your hammer back. That's probably going to be the biggest part of your resistance on there anyways. Other than that, the rest of it is pretty smooth. Very nice rifle. Um, and it is available in a couple different calibers. I think you can get it in 38, 357, and I think you can get it in 4440, which would be a more authentic um, cartridge for this rifle anyways. Anyways, thanks for taking a look at the Uberti Winchester Model 1866, and if you could reach up here and hit this button to check out some of my other videos and hit this little round one down here to subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching Small Caliber Arms Review.